Unpublished Mother Teresa's Manuscripts Exhibited in Tirana, Stunning Quotations Three manuscripts of Mother Teresa, including a letter which first appears in the original for the public eye, were exhibited on the eve of her consecration day at the General Directorate of Archives and the Agency for Dialogue and Co-Government, in the presence of the Prime Minister, representatives of religious communities and academics. The letter that is exhibited for the first time in the original dates back to October 1989 and contains Albanian passages. It has been in Remy's alias raw fund and was evidence during the processing process just a few days earlier. My heart has a great desire to come to Albania, wrote Mother Teresa in her letters, manuscripts that are carefully preserved in the General Directorate of Archives. Prime Minister Edi Rama said that the legacy that St. Teresa left us and her message to light a candle instead of cursing the darkness, is a source of light and inspiration to leave our mark on the path of this life that has been temporarily given to us. I have given the Albanian Besa, promise, to God to bring love and peace over the whole world. We have the heart to love and hands to serve. To love to be loved, this is life. These are the words in the Albanian language with which Teresa addressed 31 years ago, on October 29, 1989, that then-president, Ramiz Alia. St. Teresa visited Albania for the first time in August 1989. There was a lot of emotion, I was very curious and why the opportunity to follow her in her footsteps is not what it is today. Her October 1989 letter has been raw in the state archives. The processing of the archive of that time was completed just in 2020. 30 years for processing a treasure of information, referring to authentic documents, said Prime Minister Rama. General Director of Archives Ardit Bido said that her words in her mother tongue contain the symbolism of the mold of the tradition of the nation she comes from, which enabled her to become beyond the nations the saint of the poor and the needy, of humanity and compassion, and above all the saint of love, of man to man. On this eve of the day of her consecration by one religion, but at the same time an official holiday in Albania beyond any religion, we did not think of a better way, together with the Agency for Dialogue and Co-Government, to convey the holiness and Albanianness of Mother Teresa only through her words, in three manuscript letters which are stored in the Central State Archive and a rare photograph during her visit to Albania, said Beto. Afterward, Monsignor George Frendo, President of the Albanian Episcopal Conference, spoke and said that Mother Teresa, although a Catholic nun, is an icon for all Albanians, for the whole society, while saying that Mother Teresa is the most popular character of the 20th century. Everyone needs respect, love, regardless of their situation. Everyone has an irreplaceable dignity. I believe this is her great contribution and that is why she deserved the Nobel Peace Prize, said Monsignor George Frendo. During his speech, the researcher Shabin Sinani shared with the guests how happy he felt that he had been lucky enough to meet Mother Teresa in 1993 and that in that meeting he had made a mistake after asking Mother Teresa for an interview and her answer was was brief telling him that he had never given an interview but if they wanted he could say something to the newspaper. Mother Teresa was a personality who conveyed messages and not dialogues, and her message was published literally as she said in the communication, You love Albania by loving each other. Sinani said.